I'm Kevin, that's Destiny, and that's Tim. And if you are a parent of a middle school person or a person entering into a stage of life in which they're trying to find their place, their circle, their identity, uh, well, um, if you're a support person for that, you can help them to do that. Maybe you've done it before. Mm. How do you help them, Tim? Yeah, well, they, they definitely need that. It's a, it's a time of them trying to figure out themselves, figuring out uh, where they fit, what are their interests, what, what do they prefer to do, what do they like to do. Uh, sometimes it's even just following a crowd of, well, the crowd says I like to do this, so I also like to do this, and really they don't. Uh, and so they're trying to figure out who they are. They're trying to figure out their identity, and uh, a lot of that comes down to as a parent or as a support person uh, coming alongside and, and listening to them, getting to know them, and helping them discover their identity. If you're a parent of a middle school person, please do not tell your child who they are. That is not going to work. If you tell them that they're going to play basketball, you might end up with a kid that plays basketball and then you might end up with a kid who hates it and rebels against you. Or if you tell them that they're a Christian and they haven't decided that for themselves, you're going to end up with a child who is going to vicariously hate church and hate Christians because they were forced to be around them and say that they were something that didn't fit with them. They have to be able to choose because they're getting to an age where they're deciding things for themselves. And it's your job to empower them and to give them all the information that you can so that they can make a good choice for them. If, uh, if birds like raise those little birds until they were these big old birds with wings and feathers and they never pushed them out of the nest to find out that they can fly, um, well, the nests aren't big enough and those birds are gonna die. Uh, that's a little extreme for your kids, but in all reality, uh, you got to give them an opportunity to go out there and find out what they can do, help them to learn how to succeed and get victories. If they don't learn that they can, um, they're never going to know, and there's bigger things than middle school for them to overcome someday. Right. They, they're in big bodies or bigger bodies than they were, but they're still like small children in the sense that they need security and love. And so even if they go and they try something and they say that didn't fit and that was a big mistake and I, I'm confused and I'm all those things, accept that and, and help them to know that they are loved and they are secure in their, their relationship with you and that their, their little middle school lives don't end there. <laughs> it's not the end. The, the end is no, nowhere close. It's uh, high school. It's high, high school. <laughs> They've got four years. <laughs> But as, as they're going through middle school and they're trying to trying to discover that, um, you know, the, the issues in their world, they seem too big. Uh, and and I, see, I think a lot, a lot of middle school kids are, are carrying too much weight and burdens. And so the last thing that uh, you as a support person want to do is, is put more burdens on them or raise those expectations where they can't get met. Uh, you, wanna, you wanna empower them, you wanna help them through it, help them to process it, and then help them, help them be successful. And, uh, that might that might be doing some things that you you don't particularly enjoy doing. You know, I, I'm a soccer guy, and so you know, I I'd love it if my kids grew up playing soccer. But uh, if they if they grew up and they just want to play the piano, then that's something I want to make sure and empower them to and, and see them be successful because they're they're not me, uh, and I want to see them be them uh, to who God who who God has created them to be to to the full extent. And they're, as they uh, go ahead. sorry okay. Um, as Tim was referencing how, you know, they're in their middle school lives, things are very big. You have to make sure that you're not saying, well, that's not anything in their lives and in their context being however old they are, 12, 13, that is the biggest issue that they have ever experienced. And so for them, it's huge, even though you have 20 years on them, 30 years on them, you know, that they're going, I know, I know. Mm -hmm but you have a lot more wisdom and experience than they do. They don't have that yet. And so for them, it's huge. It is a lot. Uh, and I would say that uh, being a middle schooler today isn't the same as it was back when I was a middle schooler. And it wasn't that long ago that I was a middle schooler. So uh, keep that in mind. Really? Listen to, um, listen to what they're saying. See if you can get full context and guide them through it. That's what parents and loved ones and support people are there for. You're gonna teach them, empower them to navigate life uh, as opposed to like censoring it so that they don't ever actually experience and conquer. Uh, if you need help, guidance and, and helping them go through all that stuff, uh, well, give us a call.